Hi, we're a couple of travellers. Come join us on our adventures. Yay! <laughs> in Argentina, the most beautiful border crossing I've ever been uh, across in my whole life. Absolutely amazing. We're here in Mendoza, which is the wine region. So what is there to do? Let's go to a vineyard by a bicycle. Candela, muchacho! First winery. So we're at Nevi. Steph doing her favourite hobby here. <laughs> Drinking wine. <laughs> Alcoholic, eh? I, I think it's fascinating when it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was winery number one. Much Tasty. Much <laughs> no, that's wrong. My word. Yeah, good. See. Time to go to number two. Let's go. Let's go, people. How's the biking after wine? <laughs> My word. <laughs> you enjoy the vino di tinto? I've had free wine. Oh, it's really fun. <laughs> so our second winery at the moment, Tempus Alba, which is a new wine company apparently. Looks very swanky. Let's go in. Woo! <laughs> Don't fall off your bike though. After a couple of wines, biking becomes a lot harder. This is a very sexy looking winery. Skills after the first one. A worse. Have already diminished. <laughs> is this a good one? <laughs> it looks like a James Bond like villain's lair or something, doesn't it? <laughs> Incredible. wine and riding a bike down dodgy roads together because this is what you get this is this is what happens <laughs> winery three the boozers start to kick in Steph's lost the plot she's absolutely bungalowed So many Melbecks. We're now in Charlie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> We're now in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We're, ah! We're now in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory winery. We're now in the Charlie Wine Factory. Charlie Wine Factory. I remember my first Melbeck, <laughs> and it looked a little bit like this. <laughs> We're in Buenos Aires and first stop today is La Boca 
which simply translates to the mouth. And today we're going to see Boca Juniors Stadium. So what's exciting is this is like a bit of a warm up because at the end of the week, we're actually going to a game, which is going to Boca Juniors rivals River Plate. But um, yeah, excited to see the stadium. <laughs> I'm going to get you on camera saying this is the okay. best team in Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah. Never going to happen. Actually, what you should know is that the best football team in Argentina is River Plate. <laughs> <laughs> so the Bombardier, very interesting stadium. We have just under this clock that you can see just there. That's where Diego Maradona sits. And if you see the big giant 12 over there, that stands for the 12th man, so the, the crowd of the 12th man. But yeah, pretty cool, pretty grubby stadium to be honest, not the most attractive, but um, yeah, it's got character. So welcome to the capital of Argentina, Buenos Aires. Home to 13 and a half million people, it's a lively place, big nocturnal place, so we've been partying pretty much every night. <laughs> of red wine, eating some of the most amazing steaks of our lives. We've gone to tango shows at night, we've seen the sultry, sexy and sophisticated Latin dancers. Absolutely amazing, really nice atmosphere. Tomorrow is the most exciting day for me personally, as we go to my highlight, which is a big football game. So we've made it to the Estadio Monumental, which is the home of River Plate. I'm like a kid at Christmas today, because I get to watch an Argentinian football match. Yeah! Okay, it's game time. This is going to be a little bit weird because 100% of the fans here are home fans. They don't actually allow away fans in all of Argentina's football games. So it's going to be an atmosphere like any other I've experienced before. Unfortunately, it's finished 2 all. Great game. You enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, it was really exciting and the atmosphere is crazy. <laughs> Best atmosphere I've ever seen in my life. Unfortunately, River Plate didn't get the win, but um, nonetheless, great experience. The only weird thing was, when the first goal for the other team went in, I didn't actually realise they'd scored. Because there were no away fans, only home fans, it just went silent. There was no cheering or whooping or even booing. Yeah. It was really weird. Very one-sided. <laughs> After another 20 hour bus ride, this now makes, well, we did the stats on this didn't we, what does this make now? 188 hours on a bus, nearly 8 full days spent on a bus. Yeah. <laughs> um, this last one from Buenos Aires to Porto Iguazi was 20 hours, but we're finally here, here to see the amazing Iguazi Falls. And we're straight on, off the bus, onto the falls, we're really making the mix for the Just how amazing this 
see it. Just hear the roar. Bit wet. Just the tan. <laughs> Argentina, which we're obviously in, Paraguay, but also Brazil, which is just over that side. Strange creatures. Look, now they're like giant rat lemurs. Nice. What are these, Andy? <laughs> One of those rat things. Ooh. Ouch, ouch, okay, you can have that. It's all gone. This one's vicious, this one. So, Andy, those things you were just feeding? Yeah, you shouldn't feed them. <laughs> yeah. Definitely shouldn't feed them. As you get such injuries as this, this. And apparently they're called cotis, which translates perfectly in Spanish to long nose rat thing. Amazing, absolutely epic. Bigger, grander, more water. <laughs> it's just incredible. And what are we about to do now? We're now about to get seriously, seriously wet because we're going to go on a boat that goes to both parts of the uh, Aguazi Falls. So, yeah, we're going to get soaked. <laughs> 